Hi, in this video, we're going to finish uh, what we need to uh, actually let the client join our relay server and then transition them both into the game. Let's get started. So first thing first, we're going to fix something that's been bothering me. Uh, it's the fact that a window doesn't update uh, unless it's on focus. Uh, this comment here that the person left on my video, thanks to you, uh, we're going to have a fix for that. So uh, let's fix it right now. You want to go in file, build settings, player settings, and then tick the run in background. That way the window is going to be able to be updated, even if it's not focused. All right. So now let's go in writer. Now here, we're going to want to come into the on lobby updated method in the game lobby manager. And what we actually want to do is um, now we send the lobby code. So the host kind of start the game and send the, the relay code in the lobby data. So we want to detect this on the on lobby update for all the clients. And then when they receive it, they can um, go into the map. So let's go down here. So now we've uh, initialized the lobby, the lobby, our lobby data with the new lobby data we received. So here we're going to check if we if we actually have this. So if lobby data dot and we're going to do um, uh, relay, uh, relay code, we're going to change that relay code is not equal to default. So if it's not equal to default, then we want to move we want to join the relay. Okay, so now we're going to go in here and create the relay property. So it's going to be a get set. Um, uh, it's just going to be like we're going to reformat this and uh, like this because it's going to relay join code. So let's rename this relay join code. So uh, at a get level, it send this and at a set level, this equals this uh, and this is a string good so now we're going to be able to come here and uh, remove this because we don't need it we can set it directly it's just to be a little bit more consistent in the way we access the data for this class so everything is in uh, this type of access so let's go here it's going to break in here in our host so we're just going to do here re uh, relay join code equals the join relay code. Okay, we could we could also fix that uh, <clears throat> um, naming relay join code so that it's a little bit more consistent still. So here we go. So now we have the relay join code here and we're setting it um, into the lobby data and update the lobby data. So up here, if the uh, relay join code is not equal to default, again, um, if it's not initialized, then it's going to be able to empty and default is um, going to be empty. It's going to represent what is an initialized relay join code. So if we have that, then what we want to do is actually we're going to do a wait and we're going to do a method because uh, I don't want to write all the, the code in here. This method is getting pretty, uh, pretty big already. So we're going to put it in a separate method. We're going to say join relay server. Um, this is going to take only the code. So uh, we're going to do lobby data that relay join code. Uh, so that means that this method needs now to be an async. And then we can create this method just down here. Uh, we're going to put it in fact at the bottom here. I prefer that. So we have this. It's going to return um, a task yeah that uh, we, we we don't really care but we can say we could say bool here that we did we, did, we return true to say that the lobby was joined return true if everything goes well whoops true here we go and then here we do we do the await um, relay manager dot instance dot join relay and we pass him the uh, relay join code uh, like this so we can get that right here um, and then it's pretty much the exact same thing as this right we just want to do the exact same thing we want to update our uh, player data with our connection information that we got from here so uh, for the for the join relay server that's it we we don't have to do anything else now here, uh, what we actually want to do is we want to move 
to the map. Uh, load uh, scene async. But the problem is we don't have the map name. So here we're going to introduce some change. So since we don't have the map name, because we actually just give the map index um because right uh, as about right now we only needed it in the lobby ui and since the lobby ui on the host um calls the start game and can pass him the 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 c name then we didn't have that problem on the host but on the clients he doesn't have that so the lobby ui doesn't pass him any c name so in fact we're going to need to add the c name to the lobby data so here we're going to want to add a string for the map, uh, the, not it's not even the map, it's the scene name. Scene name. So let's call it scene name. We're going to have a new property like that to access it and uh, set it. So here, uh, that. It's going to be here, scene name. Oops, sorry. Scene name like this. Scene name, scene name equals value. Uh, so that means we're, we're going to have to uh, serialize it for when we uh, the server sent it. So scene name equals c name so that's going to be sent to uh, the server and then here if lobby data that contains key c name then we want to do c names equals lobby data toop, scene name dot value there we go. So uh, we, uh, when we get an update from the server, it's going to check if it has a scene name. If it has a scene name, then it's going to set it. And if it doesn't, uh, then it's not going to set it. And then it, we're whenever we get it, it's going to set it because the server is serializing it when it update the lobby data. So now we're going to go back into the uh, game lobby manager here. And uh, whenever our, uh, we actually set the map here, uh, let me find it. A little bit here. Here, whenever we set the selected map, we update it and set it. We actually want to also have the um, scene name, and then we're gonna be able to do lobby data dot scene name equals scene name. Okay, so this is using lobby UI, and it's already telling us that there's a mistake here. So uh, whenever you click on uh, one of the arrow it's actually uh, setting the map so we're going to reuse what we did for the, um, the start button where we uh, actually use this and we're going to remove it and now we can put it right here and don't forget the other arrow so there you go so here it's saying us like oh yeah there's a mistake so okay let's go in the game lobby manager because it's not a mistake this shouldn't be here anymore uh not not, not here sorry the the start game here we can remove that parameter and then whenever he, he needs this, he's going to get it from the lobby data dot scene name. OK, so that, that this is all to allow us here on the client to be able to do lobby data dot scene name. And here we go. Our connection is made. And whenever uh, everyone is ready and the host start the game, we should also move into the uh, right scene. So here, um, I already did like a build of uh, my of the game, and then we uh, have uh, one that's gonna be the host, and the other one is gonna join him. So let's go for that. So what we should see is whenever the host start the game, they should both transition into the same map. So we're gonna test that like uh, everything is working correctly, as previously. So if I change the green map here, it changed the green map. I'm going to hit the ready button here, hit the ready button here. Everything is fine. Here he updates. He has a start button now. And then if I start, I should uh, get them both into the green map. So let's go. And here it is. Both are the, in the same map. Um, so at that point, all we have to do is spawn them and start playing. So um, that's what we're going to do uh, in the next video. And there it is for our part three of the Relay Service video. In the next video, we're going to actually start making the game. Now that both players are in the same map, we can spawn them and connect them through Network for Game Object. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.